from Shenandoah, from Page County, from KMA Land. This is KMA News Headlines. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the ladies from the KMA Newsroom on this Friday afternoon. Another blow to KMA Land's economy is reported in Clarinda today. In a news release, officials with NSK Americas announced the impending closing of its AKS manufacturing facility in Clarinda. Officials say the products currently produced at the Clarinda facility will be resourced to other global AKS facilities. Production is expected to cease at the facility vacated by the end of the first quarter, 2025. With a workforce of approximately 54 employees, Clarinda's AKS plant primarily manufactures ball bearing components for the automotive and industrial markets. Company officials say more than many of the markets served by AKS have moved offshore, thereby reducing the manufacturing demand for domestically produced products. AKS employees were reportedly told of the Clarinda plant's closing on Tuesday. NSK's larger facility in Clarinda, which is located on the same campus, is expected to remain open. The state of Iowa has suspended $47,500 worth of fines against a Shenandoah nursing home cited for inadequate staffing and abuse of residents. State inspectors recently investigated four separate complaints pertaining to the Garden View Care Center in Shenandoah and substantiated each of them, citing the home for 10 violations of federal regulations and four violations of state regulations. Just before that investigation was complete, state inspectors cited the home for nine federal violations and one state violation stemming from a routine inspection. As a result of the inspections, the Iowa Department of Inspections, Appeals, and Licensing proposed the fines but held them in suspension after the home's director, Cindy Willis, informed the board that she was being pressured by management to make further cuts in staffing due to budget constraints. However, the Center for Medicine and Medicaid Services could still impose the fines for the federal regulation violations cited in the reports. Some surprising numbers from a recent poll show the presidential race tightening in Iowa. The Des Moines Register's latest Iowa poll, released earlier this week, showed Donald Trump favored by 47 percent of the respondents to Kamala Harris's 43 percent. The results show Harris eroding Trump support in Iowa since she replaced President Joe Biden on the Democratic ticket. Radio Iowa News Director O.K. Henderson analyzed the latest poll results in an interview on KMA's Morning Line program Friday morning. Henderson, who is also the moderator of Iowa PBS's Iowa Press program, says the poll is within the margin of error of plus or minus 3.8 percent, meaning the race could go either way. East Middle School officials are giving residents an inside look at the district's facilities this weekend. Residents are invited to an open house inside the East Mills' new K-12 complex Saturday from 10 a.m. to noon. Voters approved a $22 million bond issue in 2021 for construction of an elementary addition to the junior-senior high school facility. East Mills School Superintendent Michael Brown tells KMA News the open house coincides with the district's homecoming celebration. KMA on track weather, sunny with a high in the upper 80s this afternoon. Calm winds becoming south-southeast at around 5 in the afternoon. Tonight, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight, increasing clouds lows in the upper 60s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and more online at kmaland.com. For KMA News, I'm Mike Peterson. Have a great weekend. So long, my friend.